Many users aren't aware that Chaos Vantage supports Forest Pack and Rail Clone. That's right, Chaos Group's exciting new real-time technology supports both of our plugins right out of the box. And best of all, there's not really a whole lot you need to do in order to prepare Forest Pack or Rail Clone assets for export. If you have a scene like this that contains both Forest Pack and Rail Clone objects, you can simply export them to Chaos Vantage by right-clicking on the scene and choosing VR Scene Format. There's no need to instantiate with forest tools, no need to collapse to a mesh, in fact, no need to do anything really. Once you've exported it, you can open up the file in Chaos Vantage. You'll have to wait a while as it reconstructs the scene, but that's it. Even with thousands or even millions of instances scattered with Forest Pack, this scene is perfectly serviceable. The only things you'll need to take into consideration are ensuring that the shaders applied to the objects are compatible with Chaos Vantage. So, forest color isn't supported, for example, but you don't need to actually remove it, the export process is smart enough to bypass it and use the map in the first input slot. At the time this video was recorded, Chaos Vantage also has opacity maps disabled by default. So if you have assets like these that rely on them, you'll need to go to the renderer settings, the advanced options, and just enable opacity maps clip mode. And that's pretty much all there is to it. We look forward to seeing what our users create with this exciting new tool. As for Forest Pack 7, it's available now, and you can find out more on the i2Software website.